Right, I'm going to walk back to the car now and I'll see where I go from here. Down to Aroha Street. Then I went down to Memorial Drive and the river. Victoria Bridge. And we're now in town where I will be walking down Bryce Street, down Victoria Street, and I will be having lunch here along the river. <laughs> There's the travel, the bus centre, travel bus centre. So if you're um, wanting to go anywhere at all using public transport, that's where you need to be. Capital cars, be good. Kings of Skewers, I have no idea, but looks like a restaurant. Christian stores, all so important. And you've got the choice. Go New Zealand. And furniture, which is now a Chinese regal China takeaway shop and this place the shopping mall to my right is called Centre Place now I haven't parked here I've parked up the road it gets prettier as we go along this is what I mean quite funny because of the outside of centre place here always used to be shops and the eateries now hmm. time they are rich and that's where babies are made <laughs> the baby factory now remember what I said it's a public holiday so not everything will be open and it will be quite different to a normal shopping day Although this inner city, like all other inner cities, are affected by huge shopping malls just outside town. And this one is no different. Here we go. Here is that second bridge that I showed you. It's not in use at the moment, there are roadworks. But anyway, the pedestrians can use it now without the threat of cars. Well, let's have a look. It does say extreme care. Oh wow. That's interesting, isn't it? The construction there. The thing is, if I go all the way down, it also means <laughs> all the way up. And I've still got a lot of walking to do. So, no, nah, not today, Josephine. <laughs> Call me a sports sport.
Hello, Dame Hilda. I've just come to say hello. Here is Dame Hilda Ross. Hamilton's first woman hospital board member, councillor, deputy mayor, member of parliament, the cabinet minister. I'm far more interested in the welfare of the community than any political warfare as such. Well, fantastic lady, made history. Good on her, should be proud. Should be proud of everyone who makes history and makes it for the better. There you go. I'm actually desperate for something to eat. Well, desperate's a big word, but well, it's been a long time since breakfast. Oh, I'm really going to have to look for something and I might just sit outside and eat it. Absolutely lovely sitting here. What an area. I'm sure that during the working week it'll be really busy where people come and have their lunch and everything. So, yeah, I'm lucky. I've got the place all to myself. My delicious falafel burger with a garlic sauce and a honey mustard sauce. A huge renovation project. Retaining the facade of the building. And building a modern, acoustically sound, usable theatre. I'm going back to the car now and I'm going back to my son's place and um, put my feet up. I didn't put any sunblock on, it's quite warm. And I'm going to put my feet up, have a cup of tea and sort out my photos. That used to be my dentist. Another name. But that is where I had my teeth looked after. 